Hey guys, it's Joanna and today I'm going to be doing a review of two products from a growing in popularity indie skincare line called Stradia and the two products are the Liquid Gold and Velvet Cleansing Milk. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and join me. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter at Logic vs. Luxury. Alright, let's get into it. So just a little bit of background on Stradia. It was actually founded by a blogger, Ali Reed, uh, and she's known as the Acid Queen. And from my understanding, her products, her brand, her blog was pretty popular. And then she furthered that popularity through the Reddit skincare community, which I've mentioned before, I do love Reddit and I do love uh, the skincare Reddit. I'm, I'm a lurker in there, so don't try to find me like posting anything. I never post, I'm just kind of lurking in the background, reading what people are, are finding popular these days and you know learning from that. So anyway, she started this brand, Stradia, and she has now expanded it to several different products, uh, but two of their most popular products are the Liquid Gold and the Velvet Cleansing Milk. And I picked these up over Black Friday of last year, and I've basically been using them pretty consistently since. So actually, these will be heading into my empties pretty soon, <laughs> pretty, pretty soon. So I'll start with the Liquid Gold, which I've actually talked about in passing in some other videos of mine on this channel, but today I'm just gonna be talking about this in a little bit more detail. So this is, I mean, it's not exactly a moisturizer, but you can definitely use it as a moisturizer. And in fact, you know, she recommends that you can use this either as a moisturizer or if you apply extra layers, you can use it as a mask. I would say, however, in my experience of using this, uh, depending on your skin type and your climate, this would not be enough as a moisturizer. So let me just talk a little bit more about that and get into it. Okay, this product, first of all, is awesome. So I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna be really complaining about it. It is a really fantastic product. And the whole point of it is to restore your skin's natural uh, barrier, and which is, you know, this, the kind of natural oils that are protecting your skin from harmful stuff. And if you've, you know, watched some of my previous videos or know anything about skincare, uh, you know, a lot has changed in our understanding of skincare in the last couple of decades, I would say. And in particular, one of those things is how we wash our faces. So, you know, historically, we would be very harsh stripping our faces with soaps of its natural oils and what we've since learned is that actually that skin barrier is really critical to ensuring that your skin is functioning properly is able to kind of heal itself rather than relying on outside forces and so this product actually is helping to restore that skin barrier and one of the ways it does that is because it has loads of ceramides in here ceramides and other fatty acids are things that naturally occur in our skin and decrease as we age, as is the case with so many things, it seems. Um, but this then kind of you know helps build that back up by spreading it all over your face. In addition to the ceramides, it also has some other punchy ingredients like niacinamide, which I've talked about extensively, so I'm not gonna go into that. Um, panthenol is also in here. There are also some really nice oils in here like rosehip oil and sea buckthorn seed oil, which is what gives it this absolutely stunning liquid gold color you know i'm such a fan of clever marketing clever product names and this one is definitely clever it is it does really look like liquid gold i mean well actually to me it looks like liquid mango pudding <laughs> which i love so every time i use this i expect it to smell like mango pudding but it doesn't unfortunately i mean well i guess fortunately because actually it's unscented which i know is definitely the preferable way to go that being said, you know, it does make me crave mango pudding. Okay, <laughs> tangent aside, the texture of this is, a, you know, a really kind of slightly liquid, light cream. It rubs into the skin beautifully, is absorbed quickly, but it does have a slightly, slightly kind of greasy finish, I would say. It's not one of those things that dries matte. So it does leave a bit of a glossy sheen on your skin once you're done using it. And as I was mentioning before, it does work great as a moisturizer if you are in a climate that is not so dry or if you just have really naturally oily skin anyway. Um, the thing is that I actually brought this recently with me to New York where I was for like two weeks where I was staying there and uh, you know, in the winter in particular in New York, the heat is on blast, like the furnace heat, and it was it was intense and this did not cut it. This kept 
I mean, this, my skin, I would wake up in the morning and my skin would be like drying off in patches. It was kind of unpleasant. So this does not basically have an occlusive that is strong enough to kind of keep all of that on your skin if you live in a particularly dry climate or maybe if you have really dry skin naturally. So for that reason, in New York, I actually layered on top of it the Eucerin Eczema Cream. I talked about it in my little New York vlog, get ready with me video. Um, but you know, other products that I love are obviously like the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream and something new that I'm testing right now, which I will be reporting back to you on soon. But anyhow, so something thick, a moisturizer like that is going to be much better in terms of being able to kind of keep everything on your skin and keep your skin moisturized. This on its own, depending on the climate, I don't think is enough. But if you are in a humid climate or, you know, just don't have dry skin issues like some of us do, this by itself is going to be perfectly fine for you. Two pumps is more than enough to cover the face. Uh, you know, I think I do see people kind of overusing products sometimes and honestly you don't have to like slather the stuff on. Uh, this one you can slather on if you want to use it as a mask, but just for kind of regular uses, two pumps is more than enough. And I have a lot of skin area to cover on my face, if you haven't noticed. I have like a giant moon face. So if it's two is enough for me, I would say it's gonna be enough for most of you. And this has lasted me quite a while. Uh, this is kind of currently a little bit misleading in terms of how full it is because I kind of shook it up. But I still have, you know, a, a little bit left in the bottom there, which it, it'll be hitting the empty soon. But at least for now, it's still there. So basically, in summary, I give the Liquid Gold a 5 out of 5. It is a luxurious, wonderful product. It is basically the more luxurious version of the CeraVe PM, which, again, is an excellent product. I have recommended it plenty in my past. It, the CeraVe, for sure, is going to be the more budget-friendly version. This one has a lot more like fancy stuff in it, which is going to be the more luxurious version. Probably, honestly, the effects of these are, are not that dissimilar, so whether or not you want to spend the extra money for the extra bit of joy you get in using a more luxurious product is kind of your own personal choice. But I really love it, 5 out of 5, do recommend. Because it's also not like crazy expensive. This was, I think, $24, which is honestly quite reasonable for a really nice moisturizer. Okay, the next product is the Velvet Cleansing Milk, and this one is, uh, I'm almost out of this. This is only a little four ounce bottle. They do have a larger size they released after I purchased this. And this was, I think, $15. So this is another one of those perfectly formulated cleansers that are designed to, again, protect our skin barrier, like I was just saying earlier, with regards to how we no longer use soaps and heavy detergents in our uh, cleansing routines. This is definitely one of those products that does not. So it is a very gentle, non-foaming cleanser that is very pleasant to use, but if you do wear a lot of makeup, particularly eye makeup um, or you know waterproof foundation stuff like that you definitely will want to use a separate cleanse routine cleanse step so this is kind of the second cleanse of a two-step cleansing routine that said if you do use like maybe three pumps of this product and spend quite a good amount of time you know massaging into your skin it does eventually dislodge all of the makeup and stuff on there so as for me though i definitely would prefer just to go in first with kind of a a oil cleanse or maybe like a micellar water to kind of get all that makeup off and then come in with this as the second cleanse so that is just much faster much easier overall i would say this is a good product but Especially given the price, it is just really far too comparable to the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser, which is kind of my favorite cleanser of everything. I think this is just infinitely such good value compared to other cleansers on the market that I have tried anyway. Um, because of that, these two are so similar that it just isn't worth it to me to use or to spend the extra money and get something like this because, again, they're just so similar. This does have a more creamy texture versus this, which has a more kind of like jelly texture but I actually prefer the jelly texture. In terms of like cleansing ability, I would say these are, again, very similarly stacked. In both cases, I would want to use a uh, two-step cleansing routine if wearing heavy makeup. But also with this, because it is so much cheaper, there's also far less guilt if I'm pumping like, you know, three, four pumps to do a cleanse, which with the little tiny bottle of velvet cleansing milk, it's like, oh, this is kind of expensive to be using it this liberally. So both are really great cleansers. Um, you know, 
again, the Strati, I have no nothing bad to say about it. It's just too similar to another product that I love. And I don't think in terms of cleansers that you really need to be investing in, in crazy good ingredients because you're just washing that off anyway. So I would say from that perspective, it's a four out of five product. I would always recommend CeraVe over this any day of the week in any situation. They're just too similar. Okay, so that is it for my review of these two wonderful products from Stradia. If you haven't yet, you should definitely go check them out. They have other products that I'm definitely keen to try at some point, but one person can only try so many skincare products at one time. So um, yeah, actually that CeraVe bottle is unopened. It's been sitting in my backup and I got five other cleansers to try before I dip into that. So at this rate, I'll probably never use my CeraVe again. But anyway, that's it. That's all I wanted to share with you guys today. Let me know what you think about these products if you've had them, tried them before. Um, I know actually she, Allie recently announced that she was uh, stocking these now in a pharmacy in New York. Uh, I think it's called like New London or something. So if you are local, you can go check these products out yourself in person. And I think it's just awesome to support, you know, a small entrepreneur. Like it's just a really incredible story to, to see how far she's come with this brand and her passion and dedication for it. Definitely check out this brand. I, I think it's great and they have great products. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!